up on Sammy and Allie bug him. Uh, to start with, I started off years ago with my YouTube channel with Vermiculture. I've been playing with uh, night crawlers and red wood, or night crawlers in particular, for almost 60, 70 years. Uh, I used to raise them for fishing bait when I first got married and made money doing it. So over the years, I got into red wood, compost worms, different animals, uh, different lifestyles at least. So what I'm gonna do here today, I've also started into mushrooms. But I've been studying the mushrooms and studying them, and I've got three or four methods here. Uh, the one thing about worms, you, whether it's in your hunger, worm bin, or your um, totes, which is all I have now. I have four, four totes, two here and two on the floor behind me. You never, number one rule, you never close the lid on your worms. People, put yourself in the worst place. If you're in a closed room with no air circulation, and your worm bin's full of food, you start stinking, those worms are going to try to escape. You would. Common sense. That's all it is. So, whether it's a worm, a bee, mushrooms, nature's tough, or they wouldn't be here. So, if you can get it just, it's an old redneck expression, between the ditches, and keep it between the ditches, you can raise your worms. Today's video is I'm going to combine these mushrooms in my worm bed. Because years ago, I would throw potato peels, which I have in here right now, and they would sprout. When I'd go out in the garden and plant them and raise potatoes. So when I started with the, with the uh, mushrooms the other day, I don't know, I started off like this with the logs. Now these logs, you take your drill, I, I showed you all that on the, on the other video, and you drill your hole. I got a gauge set up right there where I can get the same depth on every hole every time. So you drill your holes, put your mushroom sperms in it, spores, come back with your uh, beeswax right here, melt it with the heat gun, take your paintbrush, and you seal the holes. Now, this log, with any luck at all, should bear for three or four, maybe five years once it starts bearing, okay? Now, if you move to a, a container like this, I drill six holes in it, six little quarter inch holes. You can't see it, I put cardboard in the bottom, soaking wet cardboard. Put grass, dried grass, which I use in my bin. I soaked the, the grass for two days. Put, wrapped the cardboard top, in plastic to hold the moisture in and set it out. All right, that's the shiitake, and that is uh, oyster mushrooms. Now the difference is, this will bear the log. A bear, like I said, three to four, five years, depends on conditions. This is gonna bear quick, six, seven, eight weeks. It's only gonna bear once, maybe twice, you'll get a couple more mushrooms because the grass does not have the nutrients that that log got. So as it eats up the nutrients, it quits bearing. So what I come up with, I'm gonna plant these mushrooms in my worm beds. Hey, you got the damp, cool, dark conditions, except for one minor problem. You can't lay this paper down on top of your worms, on your mushrooms, a spore, because it, it won't grow. So I've got to figure out the way to suspend this cardboard to keep keep it cool and dark in there. I either just wet enough grass and pollen and hope the grass does the trick. This, this is going to be an experiment. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Now, ah. I got two tight mushrooms here. I went to the store and bought them. Now, the thing is this. Uh, I researched this on, online. They said take the mushrooms, 
Chop them up real good. Uh, take your knife and just chop them up. And then you take those and just throw them in that bin. You know, and keep them down. And they stay in four to five, six weeks, they'll start bearing. They'll start producing. Now, hopefully, like I said, it's an experiment. My way of thinking is this. The mushrooms and the worms basically lack the same growing conditions. Moisture, dark, and cool. So, why not double crop? You can grow twice as much in one space. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to chop these up. And I'm going to take them. By the way, the first thing I'm going to hear is, He's got plastic in his worm bin. Don't happen, people. This plastic holds the moisture. See how wet and deteriorated that is? It holds the moisture. When this gets to where it's just falling to pieces, I will reach in there, pull this plastic off, and the worms can have it. They'll eat it. I don't put plastic in my bins. Not in the food bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant these, which right here, is the uh, white sliced mushrooms. I'm gonna plant these in one bed. And when I say plant them, I'm gonna take this wet cardboard off and lay it on the side so it works. By the way, I keep that in my shed. Thermos. I got a thermometer here, one on the roof over there in the ceiling, and two in the back. I keep close watch on the temperature in this shed on account of these worms. Uh, when I say plant them, I'm gonna rake back. I hope you can see down in here. I'm gonna rake it back with the uh, grass off the top. Oh, look at the worms. <laughs> and I'm gonna take these mushrooms, the ones I just cut. Now, I'm gonna just sprinkle them in there. So if the worms eat a few of them, it's not gonna hurt a thing. Don't hurt my feelings, it's pretty clean. Anyway, I bought these at the local store. Now, from what I learned studying is this. You, uh, this stuff the white mushrooms in shiitake are easy to root like this. But they said these portobellos are really shaky. Maybe so, maybe not. But I love portobellums. So I'm gonna chop these up plant them in the next bin. And I'm gonna figure out a way to hang that cardboard up three or four inches off the, the medium. And then I'm gonna figure out a way to put grass, about three inches, wet grass, three inches thick in this one. And then I'm gonna watch it. And, if, and what I've learned on, on YouTube, which is shaky, <laughs> this should produce in the next five, six, seven weeks, I should have mushrooms. But we'll find out real quick. By the way, that's cracked corn. I keep it right here. I soak it for two or three days and I sprinkle it in my worm bin. They love cracked corn. Now, uh, I think I covered everything. But uh, I, I get a lot of questions, especially on that green hunger bin. You, you see the green hunger bin, they'll have the lid closed. And they'll open the lid up and there's worm cracks all over the wall, up under the lid, worms hanging everywhere. Oh, look how healthy they are. Those worms are dying for air. They are a closed up, stifling bin. They trying to escape, you would. I never put a lid on my worms, never. The longest time I ever did, I lost about 3,000 uh, red rivers overnight big worm bin, it was all over the floor. And it managed to get out, and I had a problem getting the odor out of this shed. But anyway, like and subscribe. Papa Sammy and Alibug here.